it's time for a little bit of hammock. Dang, that's bright. Hammock versus tent stories. I am in the Nemo Hornet. Big old hornet came after me. I fell. I hurt my thumb real bad. True story. Earlier this summer. Am I even recording? Okay. Yes. Let's get some lights going on besides this thing. Lights? Where's the lights? Boom. Alright. So hammock versus tent. It's definitely cozy. I hear a lot of people ah, talk about how the... Uh, tent is cozy they just kind of like the walls around them just getting into this tent and this is a two-person tent so on a backpacking thing that would be not people wouldn't have too much more space but getting in you know i'm on my knees my knees are and my toes are kind of down in the grass and you know this is a grassy little area you know imagine some what i'm getting at is picture it's raining and everything like that and i'm like kind of trying to puff up my camping pad a little bit and huff out my sleeping bag and all the things you do to get in bed when in a hammock you are and even pretend it's raining bad you're underneath this gigantic rain tarp. So you just zing that rain tarp between the trees. You can even throw your bike underneath it or something. But it definitely is a learning curve to get used to the tent um, in those confined quarters. Um, imagine the one-person tent, you know. You've got... That's another thing, like... I am... Um, touching here pretty much for the most part i'm touching here i mean i'm not trying to touch so i'll probably sleep a little catty corner but i mean i'm not that tall i'm like 5'11 on a good day and this is not an unusual tent like nemo the company uh kind of like waterproofs the foot boxes and a lot of their sleeping bags which is a cool touch i had one that was a little clammy but no, i'm not making fun no they have well thought out gear this is a basic minimal sleeping bag here um but a good one a good protect shell sheds water really well um but yeah hammock versus tent and then you get, I mean, it's really, we're on the ground, so there's going to be condensation. It's not raining out. It's not even cloudy. It's just that we're in a tent. We're on the ground. You know, go for a walk. The uh, grass is wet. Your shoes get wet, even on a peak of the day, maybe. But, uh beautiful i like the beauty and the design behind the tents i like the colors uh i like that nemo's got a bag it's got like the inside like this and the outside's like green i've been mostly gray and camouflage it'd be maybe cool to get something but i like how it feels where the sun shines through and you see these colors um that said it some people never go with a hammock, and I think a lot of that is just to lay flat. And I really do enjoy the flat, you know, just laying down flat. And um, that's why in my hammock I have my pad a lot, you know, with my hammock. Like if I see a picnic table or a place I just want to lay flat, you know, a shelter, whatever, um, I can just lay on the ground. But again, my hammock tarp, I can zing over me. It's, that's another thing. It does protect you in the tent better from, like, maybe better from the wind. I had that wind sock on my hammock now, so maybe that's not too fair of a comparison. But, you know, in general, a tent is fairly protected from the wind. 
the weather. Um, yeah, you're on the ground. You're out of the wind better, probably. The water, it's probably going to, you know what I mean? The ideal place to set up a tent is like on the ground. And usually when I find a flat spot, it's usually the low spot. Maybe you have a flat spot and it's kind of rocky and up high. And then you're stuck setting up on rocks. Usually where all the mud and grass is. is what I'm saying is it's usually kind of like wet. So when it rains, it could get real wet. I mean, they tape up these floors and supposedly do a nice job on these tents. I have to say most tents I've had have done a pretty good job. But that said, you are on the ground. I would say my best tool hammock or tent hands down is the well insulated mummy pad <laughs> um if i have one tool to pick to invest in probably be it because you can huddle up in your coat throw a bunch of pine branches on you i don't know maybe a super good sleeping bag if i only had i just watched that alone in the woods show they all had those like old military bags where you get the snap on Gore-Tex shell and the and they're just laying on the ground <laughs> it had to be kind of cold but uh yeah I like the colors and the gadgets and I had the big Agnes one this one you can do too I put my cell phone here and I watched a movie <laughs> oh yeah Lieutenant Dan